multiplication of integers. Multiplying integers using the rule. Wherein, when you multiply two integers with the same sign, same sign, the product is positive. How is that? If you will multiply positive times positive will give you positive. And also, negative times negative will give you positive. Same sign, positive. That's the first rule. For number two, when you multiply two integers with different signs, the product is negative. Different signs will be negative. Positive times negative will give you negative. Negative times positive will give you negative. That is for number two. Number three, rule number three, any integer or any number multiplied by zero gives a product of zero. So again, any number, if you will multiply it by zero, the answer will be zero. That's the rule. Take note, instead of x, we can use parentheses or dot for multiplying integers. Again, instead of x, we can use also parentheses or dot to multiply integers. So, we will, in the series of our lessons, we will be using parentheses and dot to show the operation of multiplication. We will not use x because it will cause us confusion. We will be confused with the variables x and y. So, we will just only be using parentheses and a dot. Example for multiplying integers. Number one. Six times nine will give you... Six times nine will give you 54. Take note, your six is positive, your nine is also positive, so they are same sign. If it is same sign or like sign, the product will be positive. Next example, number two. Negative seven, multiply it with negative six, will give you positive 42. Why? It's because same or like sign, the answer will be positive. Negative 7 times negative 7, same sign. Therefore, the answer is positive. Next, number 3. Negative 8, multiply it by positive 5 will give you negative 40. Why is it negative 40? Take note from our rule, if it is unlike sign or different sign, different sign the sign will be different sign will give you negative so therefore negative times positive will give you negative 8 times 5 will give you 40 so the answer is negative 40 last example another example 3 times negative 3 another example negative 3 times 4 so negative and positive so therefore the answer will be negative 3 times 4 will give you 12 last example 1000 times 0 will give you zero so any number if you will multiply with zero will always give you zero even one million times zero will give you zero negative five multiply it with zero will give you zero any number multiplying with zero will give you zero dividing integers using the rule so, first rule, when you divide two integers with same sign, the quotient is positive. Same sign, positive. Positive divided by positive will give you positive. Negative divided by negative will give you positive. Again, if it is same sign, dividing two integers 
with same sign will give you positive. Next, number 2. When you divide two integers with different signs, different, the quotient is negative. Again, if it is different signs, will give you negative. So, positive divided by negative will give you negative. Negative divided by positive will give you negative. Number three rule. When you divide a zero with a non-zero integer, the quotient is zero. Note that zero is a neutral integer. So it is neither positive nor negative. So zero divided by a non-zero integer. So therefore, one, two, three, four, so on and so forth. Those are numbers. Non-zero, not zero. Divide it by non-zero will give you zero. We will take examples later to understand this rule number three. Number four, when you divide a non-zero integer with zero, the quotient is undefined. For rule number three, look at the opposite, the, the position of the sentence, wherein divide a zero with a non-integer, the quotient is zero. For number four, when a non-zero integer divided by zero, the answer will be undefined. So how is that? Any integer. 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth, divided by 0, the answer is undefined. Again, any number divided by 0 will give you undefined. How is that? These are the examples. Number 1. Number 1 is 48 divided by 8. So, your 48 is positive and your 8 is also positive so same sign like sign so like sign or same sign so therefore it is positive so the answer will be 6 positive 6 number 2 <clears throat> for number 2 negative 40 divided by negative 8 to avoid confusion, always place a parenthesis for a negative number. So, negative 40 divided by negative 8, <clears throat> like sign, therefore positive. So, therefore, the answer will be positive 5. Number 3, 72 divided by negative 9. So, your 72 is positive and your 9 is negative. So, therefore, unlike sign, if it is unlike sign, it is negative. Negative. So, therefore, 72 divided by negative 9 will give you negative 8. Number 4. Negative 49 divide it by positive 7 negative divided by positive so therefore unlike sign negative so the answer will be negative 7 that's the answer number 5 <clears throat> number 5 negative 21 divided by 0 so uh, this is already the rule number four wherein any integer any integer divided by zero will give you undefined so therefore in the number five example number five negative 21 divided by zero the answer is undefined that is um, example for rule number four Number 6 example 0 divided by 50 0 divided by 50 is an example of our rule number 3 We're in 0 divided by um, non-zero integer Non-zero integer will give you the answer of 0 So therefore 0 divided by 50 will give you 0. Again, 
0 divided by 50 will give you 0. This is according to rule number 3. That is how simple it is in dividing integers using the rule.